I'm angry. There is no reason for any young person, a student in high school, to lose their lives at such a young age. Put that it's a sad situation anytime an officer is forced to use their weapon. Chief Neil Noakes marks two years on the job. No justice! A tough job. Stop being angry. There is another body. With months of tough headlines, officer-involved shootings, terminating officers. Show me your hands, put your hands up. A high-profile trial and clashes over a community advisory board to monitor police. You have a certain awareness of what a job might be like. After weeks of asking for an interview, the chief sat down with us one-on-one. -on -one. He shared how he's desperately working to change the department's reputation. We want the community to trust us. We want the community to know that we're not trying to hide anything. The chief breaking his silence on the trial of former Fort Worth officer Aaron Dean, two months after a verdict. And guilty of the offense of manslaughter. In the shooting death of a Tatiana Jefferson. The only witness that night in 2019. I really don't like talking about what happened. Then eight year old Zion Carr, Jefferson's nephew. Ain't they? If I was Zion Carr sitting in this seat right now, what would you say to Zion? I'd give him a hug first. First thing I'd do. Uh, he's an amazing young man. He has been through so much and even a more recent tragedy. Zion's mother, Amber Carr, died just a few weeks after the verdict. She had congestive heart failure. I would tell him I loved him. We don't want him to be afraid of us. We want him to know we are here for him, always. We want him to know we're sorry what happened. We're so sorry he had to experience that. Since becoming chief, Noakes has fired 16 out of the 33 officers he's had to discipline because of their conduct. Two of those officers got reinstated after arbitration. There's certain conduct that just cannot be excused. Transparency is his goal. When the city council voted down the idea of a police community review board, Noakes presented the council with his own community advisory board with a diverse list of people he recruited. Several council members argue such a board must remain independent of police to hold the department accountable. Fleshing out everything about the board will not happen until the board comes together. I want the board to be a part of determining the community should have a say in what they want this to look like. Nooks also wants the racial makeup of Fort Worth PD and his command staff to reflect the city, a far cry he admits from the past. Look at old photos of the Fort Worth Police Department. What are you gonna see? You're gonna see a lot of professional white males that went out and did the job the best they knew how. But that's about all you saw. That is all you saw. There was no diversity. Noakes appointed Fort Worth PD's first African-American woman commander and the department's first ever Asian-American commander. But there's still work to do. We're doing everything we can to maintain legitimacy, credibility, and respect. He hopes to see the police community relationship. I've got to set that vision. Get to a place of trust. In Fort Worth, I'm Scoop Jefferson.